but we're, what it's going to be is a dragonfly nymph. <laughs> And all I'm going to do, this fly is real quick and dirty to tie. Because I'm going to make a dubbing loop, a fairly large one. You see how large that is that I'm using here like this? And I'm tying up, you see how much room I'm leaving at the front of the fly? I'm leaving a lot of room, there's a reason for that. Then I'm going to put my dubbing tool in and I'm going to give it about two or three twists. And then I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to take this material. Now I'm not going to wrap this material around the, the thread. The light colored one. Now we'll go through this in steps when I, when I go through with you on tying it. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to try to get the, the fibers. When I pull it out I use tension on my fingers here. I'm pinching it with this hand. I'm pinching the material and I'm pulling it out so it comes out like that. And then I'm just going to stick it up in there and I'm going to do that twice. I'm going to grab that material and I'm going to stick it up in there. See how it's sitting in there like that? And then I'm going to twist it till it catches. That one's caught and that one's caught now. So the thread is twisted right to it. And I'm going to continue doing this until I think I have enough. And this is kind of a judgment call because I'm going to push it together <coughs> more and I'm leaving it. What I want this to do, and the reason I'm doing it this way, I like to tell people why I do this, is I want this material to stick out from the fly. I want it to be out so I can comb it back. And it's going to give it movement in the water. And if you listen to Denny Rickards, and like I said, he's a big BSer, but he can still water fish. And he knows how to tie steel, still water flies. I gave him some of these and he used them and he caught a lot of fish on them. So he likes them, but he doesn't advertise them because he didn't invent them. But he likes them. He's a nice guy. I like his son too. His son is a tremendous painter. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his artwork at the shows. Dan Rickards. He does beautiful artwork. And I'm just making a ball here, more or less. I'm looking to see how much I have. Now the nice thing about this, I don't want to wrap this up until I have enough on there. This seems like a lot. I know it does. <laughs> but this is a big fly. You're making something that a fish is going to want to eat. So, yeah. I will talk to you on the whole No, home ball. Watch this now. He doesn't do that. You're going to be surprised what it looks like when I get done. Now I'm going to tie this off here just so it doesn't pull forward on me because I want to leave that space there. And even though I have a lot of material here, I'm going to stack some of it. You used uh, both colors in there? You're not supposed to be doing that yet. No. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I thought yeah. we were doing it at the same time. We're running out of time. That's all right. We'll get it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm pulling these fibers back as I tie. And you're going to see that it, although it looked like it was a lot of material, I'm just going to have because I smell like a cat. Yeah. enough to get back up here and I keep and if you had a comb or a brush or something you could even do a better job of it. Okay. I want to get that last little bit in there and tie that off. Then I'm going to push that back just a little bit. And then I'm going to tie that off. And I've tied it up three times. And back three times. Now, this body, as I get it, I want this thing to come back. You see how it's, it's laying back there? Can you see that? You see that big body you got in front? A dragonfly is a big fly. It's 
a big mouthful. A lot of people put tails on them. This has got its own tail built in. I hammered a fish in the BC lakes with this too. Quite a few of them. I'm going to tie it in and then I'm going to wrap the hackle or the, or the, the feather backwards. So you're using a flank feather? I'm using a flank. And I'm just going to tie this in like this. I stripped off one side of it partially. Can you hold it up so that like, the people yeah. that don't know what you did with that? See what I did with it? I just kind of stripped off part of it. And I stripped it off to where it's going to be laying on this fly like this. To where the hackles are, or the hackles are coming back. Now, if you'll notice, I'm tying this at the forward part of this red thread where I started this in. And then I'm going to bring it and I'm going to wrap back there. Again, I told you earlier, I use this method. Then I take my hackle pliers. I don't know that I really need them. But in fact, I don't think I do need them. Now I take this and I kind of strip those feathers out as I'm going to tie them. Put that hackle pliers on there. And I'm going to wrap that back. And then I'm going to tie that off with two wraps. And then I'm going to wrap right straight through the feather. And if it starts catching up on it, just kind of wiggle it and that'll break loose. And then <coughs> that's tied off. And there's your legs. Yeah. And you can see they're they're all curly in that. When they get in that water, they're just going to be like this. And it doesn't have to be anything, again, nothing super fancy. I don't tie <coughs> super fancy flies. And I'm going to tie that on. How many of you have seen dragons wise up close and personal? Because they have a big old head. Some of the fish that you catch on these things. I'm going to Rock Creek. I'll be using these at Rock Creek in middle March. Washing gets on? Huh? Then I'm going to grab out some of this stuff. This is the dark one. A fair amount. And I'm going to twist it onto this thread like this. I'll go back up here and take the rest and put it in. This is nothing new and different. And there's a lot of people, there's people in this room that can tie a lot better than me. I'll guarantee you. And then, twist it a little bit more. It comes loose on you, it's amazing how fast it can loosen up. And all I'm doing is just building a head. And I come around, get rid of that, tie that off. It's got a good hairy head. You notice there's a lot of flies. And since, again, since I'm tying for myself, I very seldom use too much head cement. Mainly because I tie, when I tie something like this, I'll tie 10, 12, or 14 of these at a time. And then, and that's your bug.